Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to run you through a really quick eye tip or eye trick for those of you who aren't really into eyeshadow or maybe you just don't have a lot of time to fool around with eyeshadow in the morning, but you want to have a little bit of something going on with your eyes. So all you're going to need for this is an eye pencil, some type of eyeliner, uh, and also a brush and more specifically a brush that is a little bit more tapered. This one is from Laura Mercier, but you can see it's a little bit more tapered and the only reason you need something that's smaller and tapered is because we are going to be doing quite a bit of smudging and just blending into the eye. Uh, before we get started, I do want to run through three pencils that I would recommend for this type of quick look. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Powder Eye Pencil. This is a powder in a pencil form. It blends into the eyes so easily. You cannot mess up with this. However, if you do have really oily eyelids, this is not going to stay on you throughout the day. So I have two other options. The second is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. These have pretty good lasting power. They're also very easy to blend out. They come in a lot of good shades. Uh, so that's a really good option. And then if you just have really oily eyelids that can't tolerate anything, you find that things slide off your eyes really easily, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencils uh, would be my recommendation. So just kind of, you know, play around, decide what kind of eye you have, and then go from there. Okay, I'm gonna be starting out with one eye just to kind of show you the difference. I'm going to be using, like I said, my Charlotte Tilbury Perfect Powder Eye Pencil. This is a dark brown color in the shade Audrey. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to start lining my lash line as close to my lash line as I can get. And I'm going to stop about three fourths of the way. I'm not going to go all the way in because I really just don't want to close off my eye like that. So just getting it as close to the lash line as possible. And you're just going to have a really basic line to start out with. So then you're going to take your little um, smudger brush, whatever it is that you have on hand, and you're just going to start blending that into uh, the eye. You don't want to blend it up too far, but you do want to blend it slightly above the lash line. This just kind of gives like a soft hazy effect to the eye um, without covering your entire eye with color, obviously. Okay, so we've got some nice hazy definition going on. I am going to slightly elongate this out. So I've just taken uh, my pencil and what I like to do is just draw a very small line outward and then I'm going to connect it back down. Um, this is also a reason why I love this Charlotte Tilbury eye pencil. It's very forgiving. It is a powder, so it just blends very seamless, very soft into the eye. So we're not going to keep this uh, a wing shape. We're actually going to, again, take the brush. And what you want to do is start blending that slightly into your crease. About, I guess I would say halfway. We're not taking it all the way in, but we are blending it just slightly, slightly to the middle, I would say, slightly to about this point. Okay, and I'm going to go back over uh, my lash line again because if you are working especially with this pencil, uh, it is going to smudge out very easily. If you're working with something like the Urban Decay or the Artist pencils, those actually stay in place a little bit better. You'll find you'll have to work a little bit faster with them because they do dry down, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one doesn't necessarily um, dry down. So I'm just going back over that lash line. I'm redefining the lash line, just softly blending again. Okay, and whatever is left on my brush, again, same motion. I'm just going to blend that in about halfway into my crease. Okay, so essentially all we've done is we've turned an eyeliner into a very smudgy, hazy, shadowy look. Uh, eyeliner can be manipulated very easily, and this is basically just kind of like a three-step process. So we define the lash line, 
blended that out. Then we added some definition by elongating the eye with that slight flick. And then we added the definition halfway into the crease, not overwhelming the entire eye. So those three kind of motions, define the lash line, elongate the eye, and then add a slight definition into the crease. That's kind of going to give you, uh, you know, that mimicky, shadowy look. And then pretty much after this, it's up to you. I'm going to finish off by just smudging a little bit of the shadow on my lower lash line. Uh, obviously, if you are not a lash person, throw on mascara and you're out the door. I am going to pop some lashes on because obviously it makes a difference. Uh, but just alone looking at my eyes straight on right now, you know, which one's more defined? Which one says, hey, I've had my coffee for the morning. All right, so I just put a little bit of mascara on. I'm going to pop on the most invisible eyelashes. I mean, these are barely noticeable. They're the most invisible lashes I've ever tried. They're called Sultry by Kiss. And this is honestly just because I don't want to fool with layering mascara today. I'd rather just pop these on to be done with it. All right, so absolutely no eyeshadow. We've got one eyeliner on the lid. Uh, and we're defined, baby. We're ready to go. This is for all of you that just don't have time to F with the shadow. But, uh, you know, you got a, a pencil in your makeup bag. You got a little brush. You just you, This is something you will have to practice uh, to know how far to elongate, to know how much you like to apply. You can apply less than this. You can apply more than this. I just wanted to do a good middle ground. And I think this is something that once you get the hang of, uh, you know, you're gonna be like, eyeshadow palette, who are you? This is also a really good tip if you want to clean up a little bit and kind of make things look a little bit more seamless, you can take your powder, just your regular face powder, and just pop that on the inner corner where we've kind of just left things bare, and then also just sweep over the edges with it. All right, so this is it. I feel like nobody's gonna know the difference once you get the hang of this. Uh, I, for a couple years, was doing my eyeshadow like this, eyeshadow. And I just kept getting so many questions. People kept thinking, you know, that I was using a particular palette, when in reality, this Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner, most of you know I've loved it for years and it just blends seamlessly into the eye. Again, so I'll leave all the recommendations down below for your specific eye type. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments as well. I hope you enjoyed the vid and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.